Hi, my name's Lawrence Leung. I am a comedian and TV writer from Australia. I've always wanted to be a rock star. Make a band, build a hype, the sweatshop boys are fine. Lawrence Leung is the Australian comedian's Australian legend. 活跃在舞台和电视荧屏，拥有以自己命名的星际大战漫画角色，还曾当选为时尚杂志的年度男星。I've been doing comedy probably probably、uh, since I was about six. So the first, I think the first joke I did was、um, this basketball hit me in the face、uh, on the playground, and I just. Fell to the ground like straight away, and everyone ran over like I was I unconscious. And then I got up and went ha, like I pretended I was in a coma or something. And like it's just stupid, like it was just slapstick. And then I realised that、uh, I got bullied less if I made people laugh, and it pretty much just snowballed from there. 从小在墨尔本长大的 Lawrence Leung， 如今在亚裔罕见的澳大利亚喜剧界拥有令人瞩目的一席之地。他把自己的成功秘诀归结于轻松的心态。For me, it's a lot easier if you don't don't take yourself too seriously.、Um, a lot of people in life they take themselves far too seriously, and I'm all I'm all for people taking their work seriously and what they do seriously. And probably, you know, if you're an air traffic controller, you should probably take your job seriously, but don't take your life seriously and don't take yourself seriously. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Cube. First rule of Fight Cube is you do not talk about Fight Cube. 在节目中以各种意想不到的搞怪著称的 Lawrence Liang 自认是书呆型的内向男生，和幽默风趣不沾边。I don't think I'm terribly funny off stage, as you can tell now.、Um, but that's because I just grew up as a very introverted type of person.、Um, I, I talk about introversion a lot in my show this year about how it's really hard for. A stand-up comedian to be an introvert at the same time, but I've got that weird form of introversion where I have trouble talking to a stranger one-on-one -on -one or a camera one-on-one, -on -one, but I've no trouble talking to a room full of strangers. So it means that I couldn't mug you down a dark alley unless there are a hundred witnesses. Lawrence Leung's parents were born in Hong Kong, but they moved to the United States when they were two. Their mother was a famous radio presenter in the United States. Her father was a famous radio presenter in the United States. 秉承基因中的表现天赋 ，Lawrence Leung 在节目中的举手投足、嬉笑怒骂都充满喜剧效果，令人捧腹。但是，这一位看似对什么都满不在乎的喜剧明星，也有自己非常在乎的事情。I often feel guilty being a comedian. In some ways, I feel dis I've disappointed perhaps my parents, you know, because、uh, they wanted me to be a, a doctor.、Um, And in many ways, that's a stereotype, I guess.、Um, but it's a, only a stereotype in the sense that、um, a conservative、uh, parent from a migrant background wants their son to have a good life that they can support themselves financially. And then, when you look at it that way, well, that's not really such a stereotype. A lot of parents want that of their children.、Um, but then I became a comedian, and. And that's a really hard journey and a hard struggle because it's you just don't know if people are going to come and see your shows, you don't know if people will want to employ you to write their TV shows. I wanted to be the best at something, a world champion. When I see my friends from high school and they've gone on to amazing things where they're actually helping people、uh, in all sorts of organisations,、uh, some uni friends of mine are like working at you know NGOs and things like that. Actually helping people, and then I'm a comedian, just like telling jokes on a stage. But then the grass is always greener on the other side because they will say to me, "But you're making people laugh and 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 helping people escape from the humdrum of their lives, or help them forget the bad times." And every culture needs their artists and performers and、uh, and practitioners of comedy. So.、Um, So in some ways, maybe I am doing good things for people. I don't know.